Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about uh, SelectFX and give you a little bit of a demo on how to use it. So let's get started and I am going to open up uh, Muse as well as the web page. Um, so we'll start over here at the web page. SelectFX is going to give you a tactile feel as you click or press on the screen. So it gives you a little bit of an animation and uh, gives you a nice little subtle effect so people know when they're clicking in a certain section. You have the ability to do reflections, almost like a pond ripple effect. Set the speed of the animation and obviously change it to several different animations that are preset within the widget. Uh, another area down here all these uh, menu items here within my footer menu are also select FX areas. You'll see the animation play then bring you to the site. So let me go ahead and get rid of that and bring over our Adobe Muse. So this is the Adobe Muse website for that page and you'll see the various um, select FX widgets within my page here. And the way you apply this is um, again through graphic styles. So we have a graphic style for this. <clears throat> we called it leaf. And this is just a, a box that's filled with a photo. And I have applied a select FX to it. And you'll see that it corresponds, it has the element name, which is leaf, which is also the graphic style name. The highlight color, we could change this to anything we'd like. The various animations that are preset within the widget. Uh, the opacity, if you want to change that, um, that just increases or decreases the intensity. Um, speed in milliseconds, and you could set there, and a checkbox for reflections if you'd like to see reflections. So in this case we have an element here, it doesn't have a graphic style currently. Um, it happens to be just a little shadow. Don't mind these, these are just applying to the widgets the widgets applying to the different animations that you selected below. And what you want to do is go to graphic styles. You want to create a new graphic style. Go ahead and name your graphic style. I'll just double click that and enter in my graphic style name. We're going to say, we'll say shadowy. Once you have that done, all you need to do is go to your library. Pull down select FX. Place it on the canvas. It can be anywhere. And you'll see this little helper here it says list your graphic style. We're going to say shadowy. Now this is the highlight color. So this is the highlight color of the animation. So you need to choose a color. This could be any of the colors within your palette or completely up to you. So let's go with something dark for this situation. Choose out your animation style. I'm going to just say ripple. Select opacity if you want to change that. We'll go with 80%. And then the time the animation is going to play. 300 is going to be 3 seconds in milliseconds. 
So let's go ahead and change this to 100 and see what we get. And I don't want reflections on this one, but we'll see what comes up. So let's go ahead and preview this in the browser now that we have this widget dropped into um, our canvas into Adobe Muse. And this is the area that we um, added the select FX. So now if we click this, you should see a black circle ring that radiates out at one second. So you can kind of get an idea. You can definitely get different looks and feels for each of the animations um, depending on how you vary the time, the color, and the style that you choose. So anywhere I click on that particular element, now if we go off of the element, it will not use select FX. So the edge of the element is about right here. And if I go up a little bit, you can even see the hand cursor come in. If you have any questions about select FX, you can always reach me at russ at doodaddle.com. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.